Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're going to go through the Awaken Arden Wield achievement here in the Shadowlands. Hopefully this video will be helpful. If it is, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. Alright, so after making our way back to Oribos from Maldraxxus, we're going to come to the Ring of Fates and talk to Overseer Condolin, and we're going to get the quest, or the quest, request of the High Lord. For that, we're going to make our way over here to the Enclave, and we're going to speak with High Lord Bolvar. So we'll turn in this quest here. And then we're going to come click on this, let it go through its channeling, and then we're going to basically go through some RP. After a bit of RP, we'll go ahead and talk to Volvar again. Then we're going to come get the quest from Talanira, and then we need to go back up and go to where the Flight Master is. All right, and once we make it to the quest area here, we're going to click on this blade. There'll be a little bit of channeling, a little bit of video, and all that. Once we're done, we're going to talk to this flight master and say, I am ready, send me to Ardenweald. Right, once you've made it to Ardenweald, we're going to come up here. We're going to talk to this ferry then we need to make our way over here collect this night lily and the creature will come out to attack you so we'll take that and then we'll slay this creature just dot them up and leave them and then we're going to make our way back over here we need to give the lily to this ferry then talk to this fairy again. And then we're going to follow them for a little bit. Alright, once we make it here, there'll be a bunch of creatures that come through and attack, but she'll take care of them. And we're going to wait for her to make her way up here. Okay, once she's here, we can turn in this quest. And then she gives us a quest to kill this guy, Mothbane the Mighty. So we'll come over here and do that. Once we've done that, we're going to come back and talk to her again. And then they give us the quest to find Corinth, which is just down this road. Once you make it to the spot, he'll kind of point out right here. And then he'll pop back up here, so just walk over here. Talk to him. And then we're going to speak with this fairy. It turns us into a bird. And now we're going to go do a little mating dance. While we uh, distract the bird, they're going to come in and try and steal the egg. Once we get to 100%, he's going to be a, a goof and make noise. The bird then rejects our mating dance. So we have to kill it to hide our shame. Once the bird is slain, we'll run back up here and turn it or talk to this fairy. That'll turn in the quest, and then we get the next quest where we're going to continue down the road to here. Once we've made it down here, we're gonna talk to Kronor, turn in that quest, and then we're going to come and pick up this quest from him which has us run down this way. Once we've made it down here, we're gonna speak with this person. Wait for the quest update. So now we need to kill three of these guys because they all have something in their mouth. Bad kitties. We also need to make our way up here to this squirrel, a squirrel, squirrel, and click on it, 
And then we'll come back and talk to her once more. I'm so slow. Okay. So talk to her and then turn in the quest to Featherlight. From there, we're going to travel some more, making our way just down here. Okay, once we arrive here, we're going to talk to her. Then we're going to make our way this way to this tree where they're playing a, a nasty little trick on us. So we're going to come in here. We're going to click on Granny. My, what big teeth you have, Granny. Go ahead and defeat her. Once she's defeated, we'll talk to this one. Now we've got to kill these three tricksters. Once they're slain, we're going to come out and go back to the road. So we make it back to the road, our quest will update, and we need to travel down here. Alright, once we make it to this location, we're going to speak with Lady Moonberry, the fairy. <laughs> We're going to then turn in the quest here. Then we're going to talk to this big one. And that gives us the quest, speak with Dreamweaver and Tranquil Pools. So we're going to head out down this road. Once we make it to the bottom of the road, we'll speak to this fairy Dreamweaver, in which case we need to click on this basket here, like so. And we're going to do a couple things here. We need to go to these, I guess they're seed pods. We're going to click on them. The other thing we need to do is find these anima starved creatures and we need to slay eight of them. All right, and after you've collected the, or well, killed those and did the seeds, we'll come here. We're gonna turn in the quest to Dreamweaver, pick up the next quest. So what we'll need to do here is we need to kill these blossoms in order to loot the anima cone, like so. We also need to kill these Hydras. And once we kill the Hydras, we're actually going to click on their corpse and click this knife. And when we do that, we're going to get basically these wild seed tenders freed from the Hydras. All right, and once we've done all that, we need to make our way back to the city here. We're going to turn in the quests to her. Then we're going to come over here. Oh, not that way. We're going to come over here, cross this bridge here, and then we need to talk to... No, we don't need to talk to her. I need to talk to Moonberry. Nope. Don't need to do any of that. Don't worry. <laughs> we just come down here. Once we're down here, then we can talk to Dreamweaver. Do that. Then we're going to clicky clicky here. I'm going to let this uh, RP go on. All right, after the RP is done, our quest is going to update, and then we need to come over here and talk to the Droman. So we'll turn in that quest. And now we need to make our way to the next area up here. All right, once we make it to this area, we're going to talk to the squirrel, Chofu. Turn in that. All right. And for here, what we're going to need to do is come into this area 
And we're going to have to kill, or well, find three people, not kill. We also need to, need to come up here and talk to these creatures. So for that one, do that. Then we will move on. We make our way over here and we talk to a wool. The other thing we need to do is on these creatures, we need to click this drain icon, which will give us the stolen anima. So we just kill them, click on that icon on their corpse until you get eight of those. All right, we're then going to come over here and talk to Slanknin, tell him the same thing. Oh, come here, Chufa. We're gonna turn in those quests to Chufa. And now we've gotta make our way over this way to fight that, the enthralled Gorm. Inside of the enthralled Gorm will be Mizik the, it looks like Hottie. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's hottie or supposed to be naughty. Anyways, <laughs> we'll just do this. Okay, and once that's down, he drops off and we fight him, defeat him the same. Okay, once we defeat him, we need to make our way outside of the glen. And we're going to talk to the squirrel here. Turn in that quest. And now we're gonna go back to Tirnaval. Once at Tirnaval, we're gonna talk to Droman. We're gonna turn that in, and then we're gonna pick up the quest from Lady Moonberry. Now we'll go through a little bit of RP. You'll get some fairy wings, you get to fly. They might sing something like a whole new world. But uh, yeah, just go through the RP. All right, after the RP, we will then click on him or her. Turn in that quest. Then we're going to go over here and click on the stag and go for a little ride. All right, after your little ride, you'll talk to Naya and pick up these quests. We're gonna go straight forward we want to kill eight of the possessed. We also need to open these seed pods and loot them. And we want to make our way over here to the circle here and click on this. All right, once we've got all of that completed, we're going to come up here and talk to Naya turn in those quests. After a moment, I shall have a new set of quests for you. So we'll take those. In which case, we need to make our way over here. We want to kill these. Once they're dead, we want to loot them for their anima core. So we'll just continue through. Okay, we want to make our way here. And we want to click on the warden. That's going to update our quest. From there, we want to make our way to this cave. We're going to come in here and clear this place out. And then we need to click on him. From there, our quest will be updated once more. We need to go out of the cave, take a right, come down here. We're gonna click on this wagon master, like so. We'll turn in the quests here to Naya. We need to click on the weapon master again and let a little RP go. After the RP goes on, we're going to make our way down here. Basically following her. We'll turn in the quest to Naya. 
we will pick up the quest from the warden, which will have us speak to Tizan. And we need to go through a little bit of RP. Right after a bit of RP, this creature will pop up here. And we need to do what we do best. We need to defeat them. All right, so after we defeat him, a bit of RP will ensue, and then we need to make our way over here. Following them, we're going to turn in the quest to Naya, and that's going to give us the quest to return to Tirnaval. Once back at Tirnaval, we talk to Dorman, and then we get the quest to speak with Lady Moonberry right here. And then we go through a, a little bit of video. We turn in the quest again to Lady Moonberry. And then we pick up the next quest, Call of the Hunt, which will have us going over here. All right, so we're gonna make our way to Glitterfall Basin, which is located here. And then we'll turn in the quest to her. We pick up the two quests here. All right, so we want to make our way outside of the town or to the quest indicators here. And for this, we need to make our way here, get to this cave. And we also need to defeat these guys and loot them for their fey weapons. Once inside the cave, we need to click on him then make our way back out and we're going to kill for the fey weapons and make our way over to the next circle. All right once we make it to this circle we'll go ahead and click on him and then we've got to make our way to the third circle. For the third circle we need to make our way over to this cave. We'll clear it out. Once it's cleared out we click on him and now we've got a fourth circle to go to. So we'll make our way down here. And once we make it to there, we're going to talk to him, tell him report back to the grove, and then we're gonna head back to Glitterfall Basin. All right, once back to here, we're gonna talk to the hunt captain. We're gonna pick up the quest Total Eclipse and Big problem, little Vork Eye. For that, we're gonna make our way back out here. If you wanna avoid fall damage, don't do that. If you don't care, then don't care. Okay, we're gonna look for these totems here on the map, like so. And then the other thing we need to do is basically kill creatures until we fill this up to 100%. When fighting these big guys, make sure you use this. It's going to make them quite a bit easier. All right, once you completed both of those, we'll turn in the quest to her, and then she will give you the next quest, which we need to make our way over here. All right, once we are over here, we need to fight this blighted monstrosity. It's a little confusing, because it tells you to slay the hunter, but this monstrosity is basically the hunter in disguise. Once we actually defeat him, the hunter is going to pop out like, surprise! I think there he is. So then we now defeat him, which honestly, he's much easier. Right, once we defeat him, a little RP will ensue, and then we need to make our way over here and talk to Karain. What is it? A dear friend. Twisted. Now the quest is going to update, and we need to return to Glitterfall. Once at Glitterfall, we'll talk back to Arlon, and then that'll give us the quest return to Tirnaval. For me, I'm going to take the Flight Master down there. Okay, once we're back in Turn of All, we're going to make our way down here and speak to the Dreamweaver. So we'll turn in the quest here. Then we get the quest Nightmares Confronted, in which 
we need to come back out to the city. And nightmares will be all over. We basically just have to slay them until the bar is full. Okay, and once you fill the bar all the way up, you want to make your way back down to this cave here. And then we're going to soothe the wild seed. We're going to do so by right clicking here. Then we'll turn in the quest to her and pick up the next quest, which has us recruit Naya. So we're going to go right outside this cave and then we're going to make our way over to Naya. So we'll follow this path here. Don't run in the water there unless you want to. And then come over here and talk to Naya. From there, we're going to go back into Tirnaval. We're going to go this way until we get to the end of the path where this indicator is. After Naya makes it here, we can turn in the quest, pick up the quest from the Dreamweaver, and say I'm ready to take the Wild Seed. And now we're going to follow at different intervals we'll get ambushed so we just need to defeat our ambushers and then continue following once we get to the end there'll be a little bit of RP and then we talk to Aralon in which case we get the quest remnants of the wild hunt we need to make our way over here past all this and what we need to do is click on these. We need to click on five of them. All right, once we have that, we need to make our way over here and talk to Arlon again. Turn that in, and then we're gonna get the quest toppling the brute. So we need to make our way out of here and just over to the right. In which case we're going to fight the Blighted Beast once it respawns for me. Right after a little bit of fighting him, he'll basically go immune. These guys will run in and kill him. And then we need to return back up here, turn in the quest. Right after we turn that quest in, we're going to pick up the Ride of the Wild Hunt. We're going to click on the stag and go for a little ride. Once we land, we're going to talk to Arlon, pick up the next quest, and we're going to click on her again, tell her I'm ready to travel, in which case we're going to follow her to the Hibernal Hollow. Alright, once we follow her, it'll be a little bit of RP, and then we need to walk up to this big old buyer, turn in the quest there, and pick up the quest infusing of the wild seed. What we need to do here is go down around here. We need to come under here, walk over to him. Oh wait, forgot, before we walk over to him, we have to turn into a Vulpin. And then we talk to him, tell him we need the anima. Okay, and then we're gonna come back out here and I'm going to pick that up, but we're going to specifically come to the Dreamweaver. Say I'm ready to perform the ritual. After a moment of RP, we'll come here and talk to Aralon and get the quest Echoes of Tir... Tirnanok. We'll click on him, listen to the tale, and then we need to make our way over here. Alright, once we've made it here, we're going to talk to Arlon, pick up the quest, and then we're going to pick up the quest from Naya, which has us go up here. So we're going to run through, and in here we need to kill 
and basically as we're killing these we need to loot them for their stolen memories. We also need to look for these and take the plundered anima. We also need to make our way to the three circles and click on the items that are glowing within that circle. All right, once you've completed all of that, we'll come here and turn in the quest to pick up He's Drust in the way. And we need to make our way up this bridge. And we're going to fight Broth. Once Broth is defeated, we're going to make our way further up here. And we're going to turn in the quest to Arlon. And then pick up the quest, go for the heart. You need to click on this barrier here and just damage it until it's completely gone. Once the barrier is destroyed, you come and click the heart here, pick it up, and then turn in the quest to Arlon. That'll go through a video. We then pick up the quest from Lady Moonberry. We talk to Lady Moonberry. And now we're going to be a fairy, essentially. We're going to press 1 to create the green icons on the ground. And we're going to destroy 50 invaders. After we defeat the 50 invaders, it'll fly us back to the hollow. We're going to come talk to the bear. From there, we're going to pick up the quest Despoilers and For the Sake of Spirit. We need to then turn around and talk to the Dreamweaver. And then pick up the quest Caring for the Caretakers. For this quest, we need to make our way outside of the city. And once you've made it outside, you'll start seeing enemies. So we need to go through and defeat the enemies. We've got to get 12 of them. We also need to come to these fairies and click on them. Here on the map, we're going to find Skill the Despoiler. We need to defeat her. Next, we need to make our way to this area on the map and click on this portal-like thing to attune. When we do, some things are gonna come out. Once they come out, then we just kill the creatures so that we can move on to the next location down there. Once at the next location, we will again click on the attunement and then kill whatever pops out okay after we've done all that we need to come here and click on the heart we'll let that attune then we want to talk to her and then come back over here, talk to the big bear. All right, next we need to go back to the Dreamweaver. Now, right here is a level gated part. In order to pick up this next quest, you have to be level 58. So we'll go ahead and pick up that quest, enter the spirit stream. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right outside the city here let's go this way and then we'll hook a right once we arrive at one of those locations we need to click on this portal which will take us into the spirit dream from here we need to fight the world breaker so we'll go ahead and fight the dragon all right after you defeat the dreamweaver then we need to make our way over to the other side of the town. So we'll make our way over here. And from here, we need to kill 10 of these yellow nightmares. And we need to click on 
six of the green whelps. All right, after completing all that, we'll need to make our way into the hollow. And we're going to speak with the Dreamweaver. We will turn in the quest to the Dreamweaver. And then we're getting the quest uh, End of the Dream. We need to click I am ready to relive the dreamer's nightmare. All right, so you'll be transported here on this, or as this dragon. You'll have to press 1, otherwise you'll just fly around endlessly. And once you do, we come here, and we have to fight all of this. Now, this is kind of a hard pill for me to swallow, but you basically have to lose this. It says destroy the Temple of Balloon, but that's not gonna happen. You can't move, you can only do the three attacks. So essentially, uh, we'll get defeated. Once we are defeated, we'll be teleported back here. And in which case we need to turn in the quest to the Dreamweaver. Then we're going to come down here and talk to the Dromer. And we're gonna take this horn Basically what we need to do is go to three points, but first we'll also pick up the quest from the Dreamweaver, which is Possessed Spy. Now for this one it's a little tricky. Um, you have to be in range of them and then a button will pop up, but you can tell where they are by that glowing purple mist right there. So we click on this and then we defeat them when they pop out. All right, once we have those defeated, I'm going to make my way outside of the city and go to this arrow here, click on this horn. Now you can go back through the city or you can circle around however you want to go through. Right at the second area, going to do the same thing and then I'll circle around to the third one. The only thing about circling around is there are enemies out here. So if you don't want to run through enemies, I would suggest going back through the city and taking the roads. Once we have both of those complete, we're going to head back towards the center of the town, city, and we're going to talk to the Big Bar. Turn in those quests. And now he wants us to find someone, so we're going to make our way down here. Once we've made it over here, we're going to talk to the hunt captain. We'll complete this quest and pick up the quest enemies at the gates. So for that, we're going back to the center of the town. Once we're back here, we're going to turn in the quest to him and then we get to kill 20 attackers. So basically, just kill 20 things right in this town. All right, after you've killed all 20, we're gonna come back and talk to the big bear, go through a little bit of video. And now we need to destroy this big dude. After he's destroyed, you'll get a little bit more video. And then we're gonna turn in the quest to the big bear. We'll then pick up the quest from Lady Moonberry, and we'll say, I am ready to go. From here, we're going to follow them for a bit. All right, after you follow for a little while, there'll be a little bit of RP, and then you turn in the quest to Lord Hearn. He's going to tell you to travel to the Grove of the Awakening. So we're gonna go out here. Right, once we've made it out here, we will see the Winter Queen. We need to turn in the quest to her. And then we're going to wait for some RP. After a moment of RP, we'll talk to the Winter Queen again. Turn in that quest. And then we're going to deliver the Primus message. In which case, we'll wait for a little more RP. After a bit of RP, she will beckon you to her well the heart of the forest 
so we need to make our way over here. Once over here, we want to go back up to here. And we want to go inside of here. We'll see the Winter Queen over to the right. We're going to walk up to her. We're going to talk. Wait for a little RP, after which we'll be able to turn the quest into her. And then she will have us return to Oribos. So we need to take a Flight Master or her stone there. All right, once we've made it back to Oribos, we're going to come to Telonara. Turn in this quest. And congratulations, you now have the Awaken Arden Wield achievement. Alright, so that's how we get the achievement, and now you're ready to move on to Ravendreth. Hopefully this video was helpful and enjoyable. If it was, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.